Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. One of my viewers had a question. The question is how to program the iRadio UV98 or the Radtel RT880 by hand. Um, yeah, I played around with it a while and um, it does work, but it's a little bit weird. Let me show it to you. The question came from a German-speaking viewer, but I'm making the video in English because it might be interesting for everyone. Let me show you how I did it. The first step is to bring the radio into VFO mode using the pound key. So one press is channel mode, uh, channel mode, mode. zoom mode and frequency mode. Let's program uh, a 70 centimeter repeater. There is one not far away from here, around about eight kilometers. And the frequency is a four, eight, uh, sorry, four, three, eight, seven, two, five. So I put four, three, eight, seven, two, five into the VFO. Next, go to the menu. Basic settings. Let me turn the volume up a bit. Then go to channel settings. channel settings, hit OK, and then you have to set the TX frequency of the radio. That means the uplink frequency of the repeater. In that case, uh, the frequency is uh, 431, uh, 125 megahertz. So that's the uplink frequency. There's a 7.6 megahertz shift. Next there's a sub audio tone. There is a CTCSS tone and let's go to TX CTC slash DCS. Hit OK. And the tone frequency is 97.4. Then let's get back Change out of settings. here. And now I'm back in VFO mode and if I press the PTT, I should open the repeater. Yeah, and it's working. Next step is to save the channel into memory. And this is where the weird thing begins. I have never seen this in uh, such a form before. Hit menu, go to basic settings and then go up till you see uh, 31 save channel, hit OK and then select the channel where you want to save it. In my example, I save it to channel one and then get out of here and let me enter um, a simplex frequency, for example, 145, 5000, oops. Nope. And if I hit the pound key now, channel mode. And I'm in channel mode, you can see the repeater is stored. If I press PTT, it opens. Let me program another one, maybe a two meter repeater. Let's go zoom back mode. to zoom mode. Frequency mode. Frequency mode. And uh, the frequency of this repeater. So the, the downlink frequency from the repeater is one, one four, four, five, five seven, 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 five, five. Let's go Basic to settings. channel settings. Channel settings. Go to TX CTC uh, slash DCS. And it's using the same sub audio tone. So that's okay. And the TX frequency, that's the uplink to the repeater is 145 uh, 175 and hit OK. And somewhere here in the menu, you can also set a channel alias. And yeah, I've already played around with it. Channel alias is OE4XUB. You can enter this by using the, the keypad. And you can switch between um, uppercase, lowercase letters and numbers using the pound key. So now we have lowercase numbers. I don't know what PY1 means and PY2, I'm sorry. 
and ABC, we are back to uppercase letters. Hit OK and channel settings. Get back out of here. Now the same thing. Hit basic menu, setting. go to basic settings, click on save channel. Now don't overwrite the already saved channel. You can see it's saved because there's a, a yes indicating that there's a channel behind. So let's see, uh, let's go down here. Um, I program it on memory number two, hit OK and it's saved. Let's get out of here. If I now go to channel mode, channel mode and I click up and down, I have channel number one is the 70 centimeter repeater. Two. Channel number two is uh, the two meter repeater. If I push the PTT, it may be should open the repeater. No, maybe with another antenna. Let me try it one more time. No, I'm too far away. And to delete a memory channel, go back basic to settings. basic settings. Go up till you see a menu item 32, click OK, and then go to, let's say I want to delete channel two and hit OK. And now the memory place there is empty. So oh, as you can see, it's doable, but um, in my opinion, it's a bit strange. Thanks for watching folks, 7-3, bye-bye.